everybody. It's Cheryl Lawson here at the 2014 Consumer Electronics Show. Here at the Reebok booth with Alicia. Yes. And here to talk about this cool new feature. We've seen it in the, the Innovators Award booth. So now, let, tell me about it. Okay, I'll tell you about it. So this is Reebok's check light. It's an impact indicator. So what it is, it's a sensor that's, you know, it's worn very closely to the head. And what it does, when it has experienced uh, impact higher than a certain threshold, we have two lights that will illuminate. We have a yellow light, which will tell you that you have experienced a moderate impact, and then we have a red light that tells you that you have experienced a more severe impact. So either way, it's recommended that the athlete be removed from play just to be assessed prior to them going back into play. Now, after they're assessed, you have to reset the device. When you reset the device, um, it's ready, you know, to go back into play and experience the right impact. So right now, let me just show you. So this is the, it's a three-part unit. So you have the electronic device, you have a beanie, and then you have the charger, the charging unit, and the charger is a USB. Right in the back here. So what happens is, right now, you see that it's blinking green. So that's just telling you that the unit is active and functioning properly. So what happens is, I'll show you briefly how it goes into the system. It's very easy to assemble. So you have your slot here. It goes right down inside. You have your display unit here. And then it's as easy as just tucking it in right along the side. So if you want to see a full assembled beanie here, it's worn on the head, just like so. So what happens here is, so when the device is experienced an impact, I'll, I'll trigger it for you here. So if it's, it's blinking green here. Experience the impact. It has a big light telling you it has to be a, a severe impact at this point. So what it is, it's a three-axial accelerometer inside of here. It measures the uh, linear acceleration. Then you have a gyroscope that measures the rotational. So between the rotational and linear acceleration, we have established a threshold. So what it does, it's an extra set of eyes. It's great. If you look at the positioning of it. It's in the back of the head, so the athlete can't see it. The athletic trainer can see it, the coach can see it, parents in the stands, they can see it. So it's up to them to remove the player, just assess them on the sideline before they go back into play. Wonderful. Thank you so yeah, much. you're welcome.